What is up guys, Michael here from the GoProist, and I know I haven't been uploading a lot of videos lately, and that's for a couple of reasons. The first off is that school had started and, you know, takes up a lot of time, and the second thing is that I have been working with a laptop to do all of my video editing and uploading to YouTube, and that takes a long time, it's not fast enough, so I'm building a custom PC. And just yesterday, a couple of pieces came in, so I'm making a video just kind of showing you what I've got so far. So, I've got the case already, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you the case later, but let's go through some of the parts that came today. Um, we'll start with this package here. This is my hard drive. Take this out here. So, I have a Seagate desktop SSHD. It is a one terabyte hard drive. So, let's open it up. And apparently it's, uh, it's like a hybrid. So it's a little bit faster than a mechanical drive. But it's not as expensive as a SSD. Because those run at a lot of money, especially for a one terabyte. So here's our uh, hard drive. Pretty nice looking. Solid. I don't hear anything shaking. Apparently Seagate sadly has a lot of um, when you get them they're not working so uh, hopefully this one works. Set that off to the side. Right here we have, let's get out our knife here, is Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium. And in here is uh, more stickers. I don't like these stickers. I want to put them so I'm gonna put them on the table. Peel them off later. So this is our Windows 7 Home Premium here. We have our uh, sticker here for uh, our operating system. Goes on the case. So we are running Windows 7. We have our Seagate desktop. Uh, or yeah, Seagate desktop. SSHD hard drive, and now we are going to look at oh, that's stuck. this here. This is something that I've already installed in the case, which we'll see in just a minute. And basically, if you can see it here, it is a card reader because I do video editing and stuff, so I figured why not? It was super cheap and on sale at Thermal Take, and that is actually where I got my case from, anyways. So it comes with an M2 port, an extreme digital slot, an SD slot, a micro SD slot, a CF slot, MS slot, 5 volt, 2.5 amp charge port, uh, USB 3.0 port, eSATA port, and LED indicator. Woohoo! Um, so what I really liked is, you know, it had all the cards. But it's also got this kind of cool feature that I'm kind of curious about. It's a USB port that only charges stuff that you plug into it. So it won't try to connect it to the computer, it'll just charge it. So... I thought that was kind of a cool, neat idea. Plus, it's got two USB 3.0s and an external eSATA if I ever need that. Which, the case pretty much has the USB and the eSATA. But, you know, you could always have another. So, it's called the Extreme Speed 3.0 Plus. So, now that we've looked at that, let's hop right in. We'll take a look at the case. We have the Thermal Take Chaser Mark 1. Uh, Pursue Without Fear. And I love this case. It's a beautiful case here. We'll get into some of the features. Um, so if you want to skip this part, at the end, I'm going to be putting in uh, the hard drive and just kind of showing you around the case. So if you want to kind of skip this case review, go right ahead. Um, but it is considered a full tower case. Um, it is ATX. So let's get to the front here. Um, up front here, we have four optical drive uh, ports. So... Down here, you can see I've installed the card reader. It's a mini. It's small, so I had to use this adapter piece that comes with the case. Luckily, it comes with one. I made sure that the case came with that, so that makes that look nice. To put in an optical drive, these just pop out and put in pretty standard for a case. Um, let's take the front panel off altogether. Um, it's got dust filters here. Nice bunch of area. Inside here, there's a big 200 millimeter fan. That's a ginormous fan. Um, just so much space. And everything just 
clips together. This is the side panel here. We've got a nice window so you can see the inside of the case. Got a little flip down thing to hold your headset here for gaming. Uh, some feet that extend out that I think look really nice. And another 200 millimeter fan hole that I don't have a fan on. Um, so let's. So right here you can see the 200 millimeter fan. Here are the uh, optical drive bays and here are the hard drive bays. Um, plenty of space in here. Gimungus. Fit my whole head in here and arm and other arm. It's got a lot of space. Underneath there's another dust screen. Here, I'll keep the dust out of the case and you can clean that occasionally. Keeping your case nice and clean on the inside. That nice lock. Um, power supply goes in the bottom. Got nice airflow going through. The nice thing about thermal take is they have great airflow so you can keep everything nice and cool. And here is the uh, cable side. Uh, quite a lot of space, you know. Um, so up here on the top, there is a uh, hot swap dock, which basically grab our hard drive. Um, if you're, let's just say for my old computer, this is actually what I'm gonna do, is I've got an older computer that has a hard drive that I wanna get stuff off of. It just plugs right in, click, and it's not gonna hold it there because it's sideways and it'll just transfer it's like putting it in a dock but you don't have to open everything so that's a nice feature um up here it's got the nice power button with some lights two super speed uh 3.0s two normal and eSATA reset button uh fan high speed fan low speed fan led uh which yes go into that in a second it's got headphone and microphone so we pop this open it has space for a radiator for water cooling, but I've got a water cooler that goes in the exhaust. So what I've done is I've taken the exhaust fan that came with the tank or with the uh, case, which is a turbo fan, and I've decided to put it on top to draw some more air in. Why not use it? Um, plus, what I can do is since this sits here, I'll probably be setting my GoPro and other things that I'm charging or using on top of the case, so it can cool those. You know, at the same time, why not? So, if that's that for the case, I believe. So let's get into installing that. All right, guys, so we got to zoom in here a little bit more. So let's take out one of these bays, slides out. Everything in here is a toolless design. So they've got these little pins that pop out like so. Take both of those out. Oops. There you go. And the hard drive. <laughs> Slides down in. Now, this is a little difficult because I've got these little rubber things here. And I don't want the, the rubbers bending underneath. Uh, there we go. Holes are all lined up. Click. Our hard drive is set and ready to go. Slides in. Done. It's accessed behind the back where we'll plug in the power and the, uh, I can't think of the name. I'm blanking right now. Obviously, I'm not the best at computers, but I'm attempting to build one. Sounds like a great idea. So, if you guys like this, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, uh, because I will be, f uh, Furthering this, obviously, I'm not just going to buy these parts and stop. Uh, many more parts are to come, so when they come, I'm going to make a video. And hopefully, when this gets done, it'll be a lot faster, and I'll be able to make more videos for you guys and better videos. So, if you guys have any suggestions, questions, anything, leave them in the comments. I check them out. I try to, at least. So, this has been the GoProist, guys, building my custom PC. See you later.